Are you about to take a short trip to Qatar? Or maybe go there as a fan during the upcoming World Cup? Don't worry, we got you covered. This is World Travel Guide with a detailed Qatar travel guide, in which we will answer your most frequently asked questions about this fascinating Middle Eastern country. Where is Qatar and why should I visit it? Qatar is a small nation in Western Asia. Its only land border is to the south with Saudi Arabia, and the remainder of its territory is encircled by the Persian Gulf. It is located on the tiny Qatar Peninsula on the northeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula. Qatar is one of the nations with the fastest tourism growth rate. The monarchy receives more than 2.5 million visitors each year. Due to recent changes in visa facilitation, which include enabling citizens of 90 countries to enter without a visa, it has grown to be one of the Middle East's most accessible nations. The country skillfully combines centuries of Middle Eastern culture with contemporary conveniences and luxury. How do I get around in Qatar? If you live outside the Arabian Peninsula, you should probably take a flight to the Hamad International Airport of Doha. You have access to a broad range of transportation choices at the airport, including limousine services. Every day of the week, the airport metro station provides quick and frequent transportation to and from the airport. Because of the nation's small size and the quality of the roads, traveling throughout Qatar is pretty simple. Although getting around by car is the preferred mode of transport in Qatar, public transportation has significantly improved recently, partly as a result of the growth of its bus and metro services. The majority of highways in Qatar lead to and from Doha, the country's capital. For short distances and excursions beyond the city, you can hire a taxi. Buses, trams, and metro trains are part of the high-quality public transportation system that the local government is now building. Is Qatar safe? Well, Qatar is not only safe, it is actually the safest country in the world, according to the Numbeo Crime Index. Visiting Qatar is a very safe experience. Of course, there are a few natural risks to be aware of, but other than that, you shouldn't be concerned about your safety. Violence is quite uncommon, especially towards visitors. As in any other popular tourist site, pickpocketing occurs sometimes in public areas. Even though scams are uncommon in Qatar, you should always exercise caution when accepting change, haggling over prices for rides or other services, and you should never pay in advance for anything. Is Doha the only city in Qatar? With a population of 2.4 million, Doha is unquestionably the most significant city in Qatar and has a larger population than the rest of the country. Other than Doha, Qatar is peppered with minor towns and cities. Some of these are port cities, while others are more significant since they stand for the thriving oil and gas sector in these regions. Visitors will see abandoned and decaying settlements, as well as archaeological sites that provide a glimpse into the region's past. Al Ryan, the largest residential region outside of the capital, is situated 12 kilometers north of Doha. Besides mosques from the 18th and 19th centuries, the city also includes a medieval fortified town. Being the country's second most populated city, Al Ryan is well known to tourists and has a fantastic shopping scene. Are there any good beaches in Qatar? Yes, of course. The country is known for its pristine beaches with clear seas and fine sand. Even water sports are becoming more popular in the nation. 600 kilometers of lovely beaches may be found along Qatar's coastline. You can access several of these beaches from Doha. The 1.5 kilometer long Qatar beach would be an excellent option if you were seeking for a beach in Doha because it offers a laid-back beach experience with a wide range of activities. In Qatar, September through November and March through May are the finest months to visit the beaches since they are neither too hot nor too chilly. Men and women should, in general, swim at public beaches while wearing a t-shirt and board shorts. Bikinis are only allowed in hotels and resorts. Which are the best outdoor activities in Qatar? Qatar's varied terrain and mild temperature make it a fantastic location for adventure sports year-round. One of the greatest ways to enjoy Qatar's distinctive desert scenery is to go dune bashing. You may either rent a dune buggy or hire a skilled driver with a four-wheel drive. Scuba diving is a must-do activity here due to the abundance of marine life that inhabits the warm turquoise waters of the Arabian Gulf.
You may choose between taking a trip across the sand dunes or watching a camel race. One of the most daring activities you can do here is skydiving. When you leap out of a plane above Doha, you may get a breathtaking view of the modern metropolis encircled by a wide desert. Are there interesting sites to visit? Sure, there is plenty to see in Qatar, which has a variety of fascinating attractions, including leisure areas, cultural, historical, and natural sites. The country is actually full of natural and man-made wonders. The Museum of Islamic Art in Doha is full with treasures. It has actually the biggest collection of Islamic art in the world, collected from three continents. The charming 7 kilometers long Corniche coastal promenade in Doha was skillfully built from landfill to resemble a pleasant crescent. It's just perfect for a romantic evening walk. The Pearl, an opulent housing and entertainment complex on an artificial island, has rapidly emerged as Doha's top eating and retail attraction. The Bedouin traveled to Sokwakif centuries ago to exchange their animals and wool for other necessities. This market has been carefully reconstructed to look just like it did back in the 19th century. The abandoned settlement of Al Zubar is home to the Al Zubar Fort, which has been preserved and converted into a museum. One of the most intriguing locations to visit in Doha is Falcon Sok. Visitors may watch the magnificent birds, snap pictures, and pose with falcons perched on their arm. The Inland Sea, which is located approximately 100 kilometers south of Doha, is a dreamlike area where the sand and the blue ocean create an unforgettably beautiful scene. Does Qatar host any notable sports events? Football is the most popular sport in Qatar. The country will host the 2022 World Cup, making it the center of the globe for 30 days. Eight state-of-the-art stadiums will host the event. The largest stadium is Lusail, with a capacity of 80,000. The only racing circuit in Qatar is the Lusail International Circuit. It is actually the only circuit in the area to hold both FIA and FIM licenses and is located just outside of Doha. The annual MotoGP and Formula One Grand Prix races take place on this track. Is the weather in Qatar extreme? Qatar is one of the hottest places on Earth, and the temperature stays high all year long. The summer is the warmest season of the year and lasts from May through September. Regularly, temperatures can rise to as much as 50 degrees Celsius. Although Qatar has higher humidity than other Middle Eastern nations, the heat is primarily dry. If you spend a lot of time outside, you are constantly at risk for heat stroke, dehydration, and heat exhaustion. Hydration is the key to staying healthy. The majority of hotels grant their visitors free gallons of water each day. Additionally, keep an eye out for dust storms. Always keep a scarf on hand to cover your mouth and nose, and stay indoors as long as possible until the storm has passed. Is Qatar a good place for shopaholics? Since Qatar is the richest nation in the world, there are some incredible shopping opportunities. Here, shopping is almost a national sport. The classy malls of Doha are great places for the whole family. The bigger malls provide all kinds of luxury goods from all over the world, as well as a wide choice of recreational amenities, top designer brands, but also a wide variety of tiny, independent stores and art galleries may all be found in those malls. There are also several conventional street markets in Doha. There is no better spot than Qatar if you admire pearls. Even before oil was discovered, the nation developed its pearl business. At affordable costs, you may get lovely pearl jewelry items, including bracelets, earrings, and necklaces. Is Qatar really that expensive? Qatar is perhaps the most expensive country in the region. Living expenses in Qatar, particularly in the city of Doha, are comparable to those in other major cities worldwide. You should expect paying more at restaurants than you would typically, because almost all of the food is imported. Accommodations may also be pricey here. Since groceries are tax-free in Qatar, they are affordable when compared to other countries. For your trip to Qatar, you should budget between $150 and $200 each day. Two-person trips can frequently cost less per person than one person traveling alone. Is there anything else I need to know? Although Qatar is a strict Muslim state, there is nothing for you to worry about. The natives treat the visitors as their own guests and are well-educated and friendly. 
If you arrive at the airport with some alcohol in your possession, you can place it in one of the lockers and receive a voucher to pick it up when you leave. You should also dress modestly. Clothes should not be overly tight and should cover the shoulders, upper arms and knees. You should also know that it is completely forbidden to ask or even attempt to take a photo of a local lady. In Qatar, the weekend begins on Friday, when everything closes for the holy day, except from hotel services. Everything reopens on Saturday after sunset. Do you have any additional questions about Qatar? Leave a comment and let us know. If you love this video, hit the like button and subscribe to World Travel Guide. You should also check out other interesting travel guides on our channel.